Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here, bringing you guys this week's Collective Kicks Weekly Recap. It is Friday the 22nd of November, and uh, let's jump in. We have quite a bit to cover again this week. Um, there are some Rebox articles that Kicks Reason uh, wrote up here. If you have not seen those, you want to check those out. Um, I uh, don't know much about the Rebox series, so I don't want to speak to them. Uh, Kobe9 um, is doing an unveiling set for December 4th in LA, uh, and uh, yeah, that's when we're going to really figure out what is going on with Kobe 9. So kind of around the corner, looking forward to seeing that. I wrote this article, um, meeting the writers of collectivekicks.com. If you guys want to check that one out, it would be appreciated. I'll uh, let you guys get a look, and I'll just actually click on this one so you guys can see it. It gives you guys a look at, at the writers and um, basically lets you know their, their name and their YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, if you guys want to follow them. Also, their favorite sneakers. Um, of all time and what got them started into sneakers and that's kind of the, what I went with uh, as the kind of general theme so um, pretty cool to be able to do something like this and uh, it was awesome to uh, to have some sort of recognition for the the writers um, that are out there so do appreciate them for all of the uh, the efforts that they do and I'll go ahead and go back here and the Oreo 5 uh, there's some um, detailed more de detailed images out here from Clean My Kicks, and I actually made a mix CD. Look at, there's only two stars. That's horrible. Maybe make I'm gonna make it three or five. Um, uh, so basically, I, I made a '90s uh, hip hop mix out there, uh, and it is clean. And their track list is available as well, and you can actually watch or listen to it straight from my page uh, when you click inside of here. Um, and there is some new Kobe Nine images. Uh, first thoughts and impressions. If you guys did not know already, I'm sure most of you guys um, have seen this news for myself as well as many, many others uh, through the last week. And uh, and so I did a video on that, and you can watch the video in here. Um, the CJ81 trainer, um, this Megatron release looks crazy. This one is uh, just the trainer itself, not the actual pack. The pack I'll cover here in a little bit. Uh, Nike SB Dunk, a high, ugly Christmas sweater, gets a release date. And it is going to be delivered, or it is going to be available on Nike.com, which is uh, a new thing that, that Nike SB is doing. This shoe looks crazy. I definitely want to get this one or the black one. Um, the release date was a little confusing, though. It said December 14th, and then, uh, or it says December 1st on the website, and then it says December 14th on, on here and stuff or whatever. So it, there's two conflicting dates for the same shoe, but uh, they did confirm the 14th of December. Um, and again, the, the Kobe 9 image leak that we all kind of know about. Um, I'm actually looking forward to that and, and seeing more of that shoe. Um, I am understanding it is probably the real deal, uh, for those that were, um, wondering or skeptical, uh, phone posit one, uh, Norman, you devil customs from, um, gourmet kicks, really dope custom kind of reminds me of the paranormans obviously, but a little bit of a twist. Um, and it, it is kind of looks like the Dornbecker, uh, uh, dunk or D uh, dunk the Dornbecker phone posit as well. Cause of the black and red. Which drops tomorrow, for those wondering. Uh, it's going to be an interesting day today, trying to get those on, on Twitter RSVP. Fingers are crossed. North Face Supreme uh, release. There's a, a jacket that looks like they're um, collaborating with from A. Valdez, 24. And um, let's see here. The SB uh, uh, Janowski Dornbecker is uh, releasing at Premier, so it's not just Nike Store. Uh, Premier will have some as well. Some more information about the Daytona uh, 1600 release date, uh, and that is from Kickstarter. 93 Air Max 93 Hirachi um, World Exclusive from uh, Kickstarter as well, and the Megatron uh, 3 uh, Megatron Rises 3 pack with the action figure, definitely one of the craziest releases I've seen this year for a uh, three pack of shoes. I definitely want two of the three shoes. I have no need for a football cleat, but. Uh, this pack is definitely uh, just a crazy looking pack, uh, in my opinion. KD6 uh, had first images of some Rugrat inspired sneakers. And if you don't know what the Rugrats are, it was a 90s cartoon. You can tell from the inside print of the shoe that it definitely has that Rugrats inspired look as well as the overall color. Pretty neat, in my opinion. Um, there's going to be a live signing session with the Dor Dornbecker designers, kids. Uh, tomorrow, and I'm going to be attending that, so I should have some footage from that event. But I wanted to, to break that news on the 19th. Uh, I actually I, I made that announcement before Nike Portland uh, officially said anything because um, 
I, fre I actually frequent the Dornbecker sites uh, quite often, and they actually um, had the information on there. Um, I did a review of the uh, Forging Iron Preheat uh, LeBron 11, and uh, if you guys want to check that out, feel free. Some Jordan 1 mids get a new colorway. Kind of looks interesting. Not sure if I'm feeling it or not, but if you're a fan of the gray, it kind of looks like gray wool um, that is out there. I'm going to go ahead and go to the next page, and of course it's going to take a minute to load. I'm actually uploading a bunch of uh, videos right now while I'm doing this because I got my Xbox One, and so I'm uploading a bunch of videos um, for my other channels, um, for my video game channels and whatnot. But anyway, the uh, yeah, for, for the Typhoon, uh, there's an, an auction via, via Midwest Soul. I don't know if it's over yet, but... Uh, but um, my buddy Nico uh, mentioned this to me, and so I, I put a link over to his auction. Check it out if, if you guys would like and see if the auctions are still available. But he was auctioning off his own pairs uh, for the donation, which I really thought was uh, quite nice. Um, Nike Kobe 2 gets a, uh, a retro, gets a first look. Supposedly we're going to be seeing these fairly soon. So interesting, they, they, they mentioned the one, now the two, and it's just kind of kind of crazy. Today I actually dropped the Nike Free 5.0 Civil War Pack. Uh, it was actually supposed to be uh, dropped, dropping on the 29th, and actually they bumped up the date just randomly like two days ago. Really crazy, but I did not end up getting this pack yet. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Hopefully they'll still have the beaver shoe in stock. If they do, then I'll end up getting it, but I'm not a big fan of the free technology, unfortunately, so for me it, it's a tough one. Uh, next up, there is some information here uh, regarding the... Uh, the Inside Out Bel Air Custom that was uh, done by El Capi looks pretty crazy. Uh, worth a check if you haven't seen that one. Also, we have some new images of the Dunkman 11. Um, I'm not sure if I'm really feeling this year's Dunkman 11 or not. I definitely like the more black and, and green look more more so than the gray. But maybe that's just me. Um, Nike snowboarding boot gets an LED swoosh. This thing is crazy. It's going to drop sometime in Deve uh, November. I'm totally, like, tired, dudes. I stayed up really late last night. Um, anyway, uh, and then I had to get up today for my day job. But uh, anyway, I really do want to see these and get these boots, possibly. I am a snowboarder, for those that don't know. I've been boarding for, like, at least 10 years now. I just um, – I haven't been going up as much, but I used to go up uh, a lot. I used to get, like, 10-time uh, 10, 10 passes and go up more than that every every season. It was always a lot of fun. Um but that shoe looks bonkers. I definitely want to see the, these boots. And it's like the third uh, sneaker that I know or boot sneaker thing that, that Nike's made with LEDs. The the Marty McFly's obviously were one. The Dunks from the Dornbecker that they auctioned off two pairs for like $20,000. Those were the second one and then those uh, LEDs. So those ones, I'm sure the hype will uh, be surrounded by those, but uh, they'll be pretty functional as well just for fun. Something uh, that you can bring up in the mountain. Um, there's another Reebok. Um... Uh, article here from Kicks Reason, and Kevin Durant shows off that he got the uh, the Green Oregon Duck Five uh, PEs. Uh, lucky little bugger. Um, not that I actually even want those ones. Uh, there, it's just a limited thing. I really want them to make an orange uh, set. That would make me happier than anything. Uh, there's a brand called Only NY from Joe Manning. He mentioned this for the holiday 2013 release. King James showed off a one of one floral print LeBron 11 um, earlier in the week. That was kind of entertaining. And let's go to the next page to see if it loads, considering I am uploading uh, like four videos right now as we speak. Uh, oh, yeah, the all, all Chroma um, Nike ID uh, LeBron 11 orders were delayed. And I did mention this in a video, but just as a, a kind of a silver lining to that story, the person that um, mentioned this to me ended up getting 30% off from his order. Nike actually ended up contacting him and, get, and saying because it was delayed, uh, he'll get 30% off of his order, which is awesome. I, that was what I was expecting. Uh, when I when I was chatting with a person over this this uh, situation on the chat, like on Nike chat, like it was basically he was just saying, oh, well, we, we, we will allow you to return it up to, for, for up to 30 days, he said. And I was like, dude, that's not that's not an option. That's not like a great option when you're when you're trying to get something uh, and, and be one of the first people that end up getting the, the Nike ID option. So. I thought that was really cool, so it's a nice follow-up for that. Uh, but uh, but interesting still the way they ruled out the Nike ID 11s. Uh, speaking of that, though, I did show you guys earlier in the week some different designs that I saw from the Nike store in Portland. They had a Sprite, more or less colorway, a South Beach, and and some like maybe uh, some other ones uh, here and there as well. It looked pretty cool. And a Nike SB Dunk Low Fire Nice was available uh, last week. 
or this week as well. I actually really like that one. I wish it had hits of black instead of the like the blue in there. And it's kind of a dull looking orange, but I do like uh, I do like my orange. That's not one necessarily I would have probably picked up. I like maybe more of an orange and black uh, for that. More uh, uh, authentic, easy two colorways. That's one thing, that, and I guess I'll leave you guys with this because that's the last kind of spot where we're at. But uh, the easy two talk about easy uh, leaving Nike and all that stuff. I haven't commented on that stuff yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I haven't owned one pair of Yeezys in my career. They're they're just the ultimate hype shoe. So for me, the, it's not like I don't want the shoe. It's just impossible for me to get. So uh, I don't find it too uh, aggravating if if he ends up leaving. Nike, will he be successful leaving Nike? Yes. Will it be something where the shoes command a $2,000 price tag for every single thing that he releases? I'm saying no. Um, and it depends on how much uh, he releases. It's supply and demand. We all know this for sneakers. If he uh, starts releasing too many things for people to want to buy, people aren't going to want to pay attention anymore. And we all can't forget that his, his uh, fiance girlfriend or whatever the heck she is which you guys obviously know i don't really care for her very much but she was rocking the sketcher like shape ups like back in the day and like i actually have no reason why i even brought that up other than i was thinking for the hype part of the products like if if people sell out and and do the things that they should they, they want to do so they can meet uh, reach a larger audience which is kind of what the kardashians have done with their clothing line as well once you reach that that larger audience, your target uh, niche market kind of uh, dries up. So that's what I predict happening if he goes all in, um, producing more and more and more. Um, anyway, that's that's kind of it where where I'm thinking uh, with that. That's it for the uh, website. Actually, I'll show you guys one more thing. Um, the weekly, not the weekly recap, the release dates. I'm trying to go here. So the release dates, the f uh, free trainers came out today. The Zoom flights, the white and kind of the green and black ones came out today. Tomorrow we get the Dornbecker foam posits and the Dornbecker uh, 10s, as well as the rest of the Dornbecker series, along with the apparel, which I can't stress, looks really, really dope. I definitely want to get some of the apparel. I'm going to go for broke tomorrow, um, which is going to be unfortunate, but I'm going to, want to buy as much as I can. Uh, also, next week is the one that I'm looking forward to with this uh, the SC2 Megatron. Uh, trainer, I really like this trainer, and I really want to check out that pack. Next week, we also have the Terracotta Warriors and the Foam Posit Safari Ones, and the Jordan 5 Oreos and the OSU Gloves. Uh, there's a bunch of other ones if I miss for releases for next week. I'll try to end up um, doing this over the weekly recap just so you guys can see some of the upcoming releases. So I, I figured this is a nice thing to add in here. There's also another Kobe, Kobe 8 colorway that's coming out there on the 30th. But uh, that's uh, kind of the way I'm going to wrap up the videos. Thank you guys for watching. And, and um, for those that look forward to, to listening to these videos, I do appreciate it, man, because it's just kind of a different form format for me. It gets me to be able to plug my website, which I ultimately love to be able to do because I'm really passionate about doing both the website and the YouTube channel. And uh, hopefully it gives you guys some news. Have a good weekend. I'm really tired. I'm probably going to – who am I fooling? I'm going to probably play some more Xbox. We'll catch you guys later. Thanks for uh, stopping in. Peace.